Hello everyone, Joe from BlackBerryOS.com here. Now today I have titled this video BlackBerry 10 Dev Alpha Device Explained. Now the reason I have given it that title is because there's some confusion going around as to what exactly is the BlackBerry 10 Dev Alpha device. Um, I've been hearing in the forums anything from you know in comments just you know random places anything from people saying they're gonna go out and buy one to people you know criticizing it saying that oh the device isn't complete and all those comments aren't justified just because the dev alpha device the purpose of what it's made for is not to be a consumer device it's strictly for developers as Rim has said as Torsten Hines has said as Alex Saunders has said, as Victoria Berry has said, and other PR representatives. Um, so I want to kind of go over some specs of the Dev Alpha device. If you look up here in front of me, we have one here. And I have my BlackBerry Playbook here. And what I want to do is I want to give you a prime example for my own application, the BBOS app, what, what this Dev Alpha device is designed to do for the developer. So Let's go ahead and go over some specs here. Let me go ahead and turn these screens on here. See, they both use gestures, as you can see. The Dev Alpha device is a 4.2 inch screen. The resolution is, is uh, 1280 by 768, and it's 365, 356 DPI. Excuse me. So the resolution is great. It has the best resolution on the market right now out of any device. Um, this is one of the big reasons why. RIM is providing these phones to developers right now so they can take their application and they can adjust it to these resolutions to the screen size and not only that to uh, various APIs that are running uh, on the BlackBerry 10 device that aren't running on the current Playbook OS 2. So developers can also you know update for that. There's also some uh, added you know functionalities in the Dev Alpha, Dev Alpha device um, NFC and uh, various uh, things like that and we also you know the, the the whole point of this giving the dev alpha device also is because there are new uh, BlackBerry 10 SDKs that uh, are going to be available to build with um, the there are four they're basically four main SDKs there's uh, there's BlackBerry uh, 10 native S SDK that includes uh, Cascades that's uh, you know a lot of iPhone uh, programmers are really and, and developers are really uh, excited for that one. There's BlackBerry 10 WebWorks SDK, there's the BlackBerry 10 uh, SDK for uh, Adobe Air and the BlackBerry 10 SDK for Android apps. So these are what developers are going to be using while they're you know programming for this and developing for this BlackBerry 10 Dev Alpha which is going to be the basically to see how their apps will run on the BlackBerry 10 OS. Um, I mean, right now it's running a modified version of Playbook OS 2. Um, and that, as I was saying with the APIs, there's different APIs in it. But uh, you can get Playbook bar files to run on this Dev Alpha device. But uh, the other way around, I don't think it's possible to have BlackBerry 10 apps run on the Playbook OS 2. So, so there are differences in there. But, you know, right now this is what the developers are getting. Um, like I say, it's not going to consumer. Um, so if we want to just kind of take a look at it, I'll show you. If you haven't seen the Dev Alpha device yet, it has a uh, LEDs up here in the top corner. You got a front-facing camera. You have down here on the bottom your contacts here, and over on the side here you have a micro USB, micro HDMI. You have a SIM card slot there, micro SIM. Uh, Here's the unlock power reboot button, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Over here you have volume up and down and also play pause, very much like the playbook here. So, and remember though, this isn't, we've been told in the keynote as well, the BlackBerry World keynote, that this is not final product. So this isn't, even the hardware, they said, you know, hardware and software, obviously software, even hardware. So, I mean, just looking at this right now, we can't assume that this is going to be the final product either so keep that in mind um, this is a 16 gigabyte one notice uh, no removal bat no, no removable battery um, 
I think all of us BlackBerry users are going to be appreciating that. No more battery pulls, which is super awesome. So, yeah, there it is. Um, I'm not going to go through everything today. I just want to show you basically the gist of the title of the video, explaining the Dev Alpha device, what it is, and then showing you my example here. Well, why don't I go ahead and tune into that. Right here we have the BlackBerry Playbook running OS 2. Here's the BlackBerryOS.com app. So let's go ahead and click on that. We'll open it up. You notice here, it's going to load the blogs and the blog preview and the blog screen here. So if you notice, everything runs well. Everything is fits in nicely with the, the resolution that's provided. Everything is scaled correctly. Um, you know, you can hit up here in the top bar and whatnot. So that's the app right there. Um, this is the BlackBarrows.com Playbook app, and it will be in App World soon. Hopefully, uh, we've submitted it. So it's just uh, in the review process right now. So we'll let you know when that is come, becomes available. So there we go, we have the, that app working fine. So now I take that same bar file that was provided and designed for the Playbook OS 2 and I have sideloaded it onto the BlackBerry 10 Dev Alpha device here as you can see the same icon. Let's go ahead and see what happens when I open it up. I haven't, there hasn't been any kind of development or any kind of changes to it. This is the exact same bar file that's on this right now. So let's see what happens. Okay, we got the splash screen there. Okay, see so it loads very fast, very nicely, but look, as we can see, a lot of it's cut off. Right now, basically all it's showing is that top left corner of the playbook version here. So, as we can see, this Dev Alpha device, now I have the tool to have the device and to be able to scale things properly and to fit the resolution and so that way you know, you can recreate the UI. So, I mean, if I were to to size this all this down onto this screen, you wouldn't be able to push it with your little your big fingers. You know, you just you you miss all the buttons. You'd hit other things you wouldn't want to. So, obviously, redesigning UI is a uh, key. So, you know, and here we go. So, I mean, basically, you can see there, it's uh, basically the top left corner. It almost matches up perfectly there. See that? So. Yeah, so exact, that's exactly what's going on with the Delve Alpha device. Um, so this obviously this app is going to be, need to be restructured, um, and the Dev Alpha device will allow me to do that. So, And by the way, the BBOS app was coded by C2 Development, um, Corin and Callum, and I created the in, uh, UI for it. So excited for the BBOS app, BB10 app to come out. Um, uh, or the BB10 uh, device for the BB10 device and we'll be restructuring the UI and also offering that in App World once those become available. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, I hope that clears some things up for you guys on the Dev Alpha device. No, you cannot buy one. Uh, if you are a developer, uh, I've heard that and you weren't at the BlackBerry 10 Jam conference to pick one up. I heard that possibly and don't take my uh, word for this, but Possibly I heard that they may be offering Div Alpha devices at the BlackBerry 10 Jam Roadshow. So stay tuned for that on BlackRoast.com to get all that information. Anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in everyone, and I'll see you on the site.